Oh, the horror. More specifically, Bronze Age comic book horror. Hi everyone and welcome back to Still Only 35 Cents. For this video I'll be unearthing the CGC grades from my recent San Diego Comic Con Bronze Age Horror submission. But before we get started, usual stuff, if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell for future videos. I'm going to try something a little different this week and as well as a grade reveal I'll share some of the clips from my previous videos and live streams where I showcased each of the books that I'm going to be revealing before I show you the grade. So with that, let's get into it. So the big pickup for the day was a book that's been on my wish list for a while. Um, and doing a little bit of digging, I also found out, um, I didn't know this. Or I knew that there was a prototype of Swamp Thing out there, but I didn't realize it was this issue. Um, now, I've got a number of books of Swamp Thing coming in for future videos, um, but this one is House of Mystery 195 with this classic Bernie Wrightson cover, um, beautifully realized with the bat swamping over the, 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 the guy here. Um, this I got from a dealer. It's a near mint minus is the grade that they've given it. It looks amazing let me just see if i can get it into view for you there you go looks amazing um but beautifully as well in addition to that classic cover it's got the first prototype of swamp thing which appeared prior to um that house of secrets issue uh that is credited as his first appearance so looking at the artwork on it it's amazing in terms of seeing that prototype in that book but super happy to get it now Bit of a story on this one. The dealers are, or did seem to be, very hungry to sell. So this was priced up at 375 US. Now, I luckily had 300 in cash, and so I just made a, a bit of a sort of random offer. So anyone ever tells you don't make a cheeky offer to a dealer, you should. Um, so I offered $300 for this um, cash, and he took it. So this beautiful book is now in my possession. Not sure if I should grade it yet. Um, it looks immaculate. It does look every bit a 9.2. So I'll probably end submit it, probably end up submitting this at Heroes Con when I'm out there for that book um, or for that show. But yeah, um, let me know what you think of this. Uh, if you've got this issue, if you've read this issue, Really love to hear your thoughts. So that's my big key for the show. Some of you would have seen this one already. Um, this is House of Mystery 195, the classic Bernie Wrightson cover. I believe it's Bernie Wrightson. Yes, Bernie Wrightson cover. Bad Out of Hell. Um, stunning cover, this one. Um, as I say, I picked this one up. I got this, I think, for 325 or 300. I can't remember now. Um, I got this from... I think WonderCon. Um, they say it's a near mint minus. So I'm relatively hopeful for this one. So we'll see what we do with that one. I think it does have a slight stain, so that might hammer it. But we'll see. First up is the aforementioned House of Mystery 195 from October 1971. So what grade did we get from CGC? 8.0 cream to off-white pages. Now, I checked the graders notes on this one. That small stain, which was on the top of the back cover, did ding us. And there was also a small stain on the left center of the back cover, as well as some light wear to the cover and a very small spine crease at the top staple. So it looks like we did get nailed with those stains, unfortunately. As I say, I bought this for $300 from a dealer at WonderCon. However, checking the FMV on this book for an 8.0 
it's around about $140. So we didn't do too well with this book. However, great one to have in the collection. And I'll probably end up cracking this one out and enjoying it raw so I can have a read and go through and enjoy that Bernie Wrightson prototype of Swamp Thing. Hi, sir. Hi. Um, could I have a look at the Demon, the, both the 150s again? Both the 150s. Yes, please. I'm trying to remember which was the one. I think this was the one. This was the one I looked think. at, yeah. Yeah. But okay. I'm not totally sure. Okay. You can take it out again if you like. Um, could you do 125? Is it cash? Yeah. Let me just ask for yeah, it. Yeah, sure. It's 130. All right. Thank you. There's one for fast in the back. Yeah, it's perfect. Did you really like this? What's that? Popular book all of a sudden, eh? Well, I've got, a, I've got a feeling that James Gunn, oh, I mean, he's such a great what, character, right? Yeah. And that's why, because it's like, we just got those. They're so, that's, that's, like, they're so hard to get in high grade, number one. Yeah. It's ridiculous. So when I saw the two of them, I was like, yeah, we just got that's, those that's, a couple that's weeks ago. Pretty, like, that's pretty like I would say Somebody that's had a stack of demons. That's at least in the nines. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. thank you so much. Thank you very much. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Thanks. This is not what I paid for it, but yes, you would have seen this from my Heroes Con video. That demon number one is going in for submission. Next up is this copy of Demon Number no. 1, this classic Jack Kirby character created in August 1972. As mentioned, this is a really tough book to get in high grade. So how did we do with CGC? Wow, we got a 9.6 with white pages. I'm really happy with that. Now, surprisingly, on a 9.6, we still got some graders notes. Now, I've checked those, and they stated very small crease right top of front cover, breaks color, and light spine stress lines to cover. So, regardless, this is a huge win. There are 1,786 graded in total of this book, with only 22 copies higher at a 9.8, and another 76 graded 9.6 like this one, so I'm really happy with the result. Price-wise, I paid around about $125 for this, as you can see from the footage. The FMV on a 9.6 is currently around $1,250, so I've done really well on this particular book. that one and then another one from west coast dave engines so this is swamp thing number four um, again i believe that's bernie wrightson goodness yep bernie wrightson in 1972 so looking forward to seeing how that one grades out now we have swamp thing number four from april 1973 the classic first series of swamp thing with a story by len wine and a beautiful cover and interior art by bernie wrightson this one is a bit of a surprise, so let's have a look. It was supposedly a 9-2. I bought this from Dave of West Coast Avengers, so hopefully we did okay. Oh, 7-0. Um, but it is white pages, certainly not as high as expected. But the book still looks great, so I'll have to do a bit of review of the graders' notes. So I've checked the graders notes. It says multiple tear with crease top of back cover, very light spine stress lines to cover. Now I've looked at this book very closely with my eye loop and I'm not sure on that tear that they mentioned. So I may inquire with CGC on this one, um, thinking about giving it a crack to open up and review it. As I say, I've looked at this very closely can't see what they're talking about. So that's a really disappointing grade. Still, great book to have in the collection, uh, but again, another one that I may crack open uh, and enjoy as a reader copy, if indeed I can find those tears in the first place.
definitely got a copy of this one. This is Monster of Frankenstein number two. Um, but again, high hopes for this. Let's see if I can get uh, a decent grade. I think my original CPC that I've got at home is a 9.0. So again, we'll see how this one turns out. Next is Frankenstein number two from March 1973 with cover and art by the classic Mike Plug and story by Gary Friedrich. So what did we get? 9.0 with off-white to white pages. Check the graders notes and I think I know why we got hit. There were fingerprints on the left top of the back cover and also they mentioned very light spine stress lines to cover. I got this from Future Past Vintage Collectibles. They had it as a 9.2, a near mint minus. So it's pretty close grade match, but I'll show you just on the back cover here. You can just see the fingerprints on the cover there, on the back cover there. So that's realistically what got us slightly lower than the 9.2 that was quoted. Frankenstein Monster number seven. Again, another high grade one. So that's going in for selection. Now we have another Frankenstein. This one's issue seven from November 1973. Another Gary Friedrich story, but this time with art and cover by John Buscema. This one's notable because it has a Dracula cameo on the last page and leads directly into the first Marvel Frankenstein Monster and Dracula crossover. So what did we get? A 9.6 with white pages. Now that's better. That's what we like to see. This is a good one because I picked it up from a UK auction house for just $10. And checking the grade, whilst the FMV is not great at around $120 for a 9.6, I'm happy with the result on this one. Then we've got a Frankenstein monster number 13, I think, yes, number 13. Um, again, I'm collecting my Bronze Age horror, so hopefully that will go well. So we continue the Frankenstein monster theme, and this is issue 13 from November 1974. This time with Doug Mensch on story and Ron Wilson on cover art. Again, I picked this one up from a UK auction house for $10. It's late in the run, and whilst not a key issue, I was keen to get it graded anyway. So what did we get? Wow, a 9.8 with white pages. Checking the census on that, there are only nine other 9.8s. And ironically, there hasn't been a sale of a 9.8 since 2017, when it sold for $204. So sales data is a bit skewed. So I checked the FMV for a 9.6 on this book, and it's around $300. So I'm expecting around about a $500 to $600 value on this book. Bizarrely, there were also some graders notes, and they were very light spine stress lines to cover. Regardless, a 9.8 of a book of this age from the Bronze Age horror of Marvel, it's great. Uh, again, more Bronze Age horror. This is Frankenstein, Monster of Frankenstein, number 17. Uh, I may already have some graded, but I wanted to get this one because, it, again, it's super high grade. Uh, see how that one grades out. Final Frankenstein monster book is this one, issue 17. It's the penultimate book in the run from July 1975, and again with Doug Mensch on story. I picked this one up from Future Past Vintage Collectibles. They had it as a near mint 9.2, and I grabbed it for $42. So what grade did we get? We got a 9.4 with white pages, really good. So I checked the FMV on this book and it looks like we did okay. It's around about $100, so I'm pretty happy with that one. Graders notes were very light spine stress lines to cover and very light wear to cover. So again, I think uh, that's a good one for a 9.4 grade. Um, we've got another horror book, Werewolf by Night. This is 19. This one does have Dracula. Oh, no. This one has vampires, not Dracula. It looks like Dracula, but it isn't Dracula. 
Next is Werewolf by Night, issue 19 from July 1974. Mike Friedrich on story, Gil Kane and Tom Palmer cover, with Don Perlin and Vince Coletta on interior art. This again was another one of those $10 books that I picked up from a UK auction. So what did we get? Ouch, an 8.0 with white pages. So let's check the graders notes. So the graders notes were light crunch, bottom left of whole book. That's probably what got us dinged the book down to the grade of the 8.0. And then again, there's a small tear top of centerfold. Checking the FMV, this 8.0 is probably around $40. So not a great result overall. The first book in that is Adventure into Fear, number 13, featuring Man Thing. Um, I have high hopes to this one. Uh, let's see what grade we get. I think, again, most of these will be in the nines, um, fingers crossed, unless there's issues that I haven't spotted. But again, super happy to be submitting that one. Finally, we close out the submission with this Adventure into Fear, issue 13, featuring Man Thing. Steve Gerber's story and featuring a great cover by the legendary Rich Buckler. I got this from Future Past Vintage Collectibles for $36. They had it as a near mint 9.2. So what did we get? A 9.8 white pages. So that is awesome. Checking the FMV for this book, it's supposedly around about 1,700 for a 9.8. So that's a huge win. Unsurprisingly, no graders notes, but just so happy with this one. So that's it. I really hoped you enjoyed those Bronze Age horror books and the new format. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button on the way out too. I also wanted to thank you all for joining me on the Horrortober theme this month. It's been a lot of fun unveiling all of these horrors for you. We'll close the spooky season with our very last Mystery Monday Monster Mail Call show this week before we go back to our usual comic content. As always, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the notification bell for future content. Thanks for watching, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you very soon. Don't forget to check out our other great videos, as well as our weekly live stream, The Merry Monday Mail Call Show, every Monday at 7.30am Australian Eastern, as well as follow us on Instagram, Facebook and X at still only 35 cents.